Hello, my name is Roland Jung. Just wanted to talk today about the PLCs. Inside ePlan, we often face PLCs. We even have a special navigator you'll find here on your devices, PLC navigator. And you can pretty much see, you know, within a specific station like this, different racks that we have, especially if you actually highlight here the rack oriented view. And you can see each of these PLC cards. Some people actually do draw a PLC rack overview like this. This comes out of our engineering standard that you can actually see on our cloud. Talking about engineering standard, I actually took over those um, this configuration, which comes straight out of the uh, Rockwell automation interface. And I can actually uh, import this into my project. So I can transfer a complete configuration of a rack with its PLC cards from one project to another. All I had to do is export my PLC data, either directly from the Rockwell Integrated Architect Builder, or I can do it within this project here. And I'll show you actually how to import it back into this project here. So here we have the PLC data import, which is this AML file. And I can configure this. I can actually go straight into starting and generating the PLC uh, schematics, like the input cards and output cards and what's connected to it. But if I do so, and, and you'll see, it, you have to make sure that your data is actually available. <clears throat> and pretty often, or often what happens is when you import something like this, these different PLC cards may or may not be known. So you can right mouse click copy this, just cancel it for the moment here, and jump over to the ePlan Cloud data portal. And you can technically just import all the data all at once because these filters are actually smart filters. If I just paste back the data here, it will actually look for all these different PLC cards. Now, of course, um, in this mega filter that I have here, I may be interested in only a few. So interestingly here is I can use this check box activation option and I can run through and see which ones, you know, are the ones I'm interested in. I actually look right now for the Allen Bradley N configuration because technically those ones, I personally do not want them because that's data that is actually inch oriented. So I'm going to just scroll down. I do recognize most of these items. <coughs> this is actually the rack itself. These are the uh, Ethernet cards. Uh, this is another Ethernet card. Maybe not the one that I picked, but anyways, might as well pick it. Here it is OB16EK. If you don't want the EK, you don't need to. But meanwhile, I'm actually here. It actually finds a couple of interesting parts that I know I have been using in the past. So here are 15 cards now that are interesting. I marked them up and I can just import them. Just the marked ones, right? So if I do import them now, I can even add some accessories. If there are some accessories that are joined onto these components, click the OK button and the import will be made <coughs> so that the next time around, if I try to import these parts, they are actually also known by my system, which means my parts database uh, will have these parts. So my build material will be filled uh, correctly. And of course, my um, integration will actually work if I have some of these macros nicely created. So here we can see the progress right now at 53%. And the intention behind the scene is obviously to exchange between uh, the configurator and the configuration you can do under the Rockwell tools and exchange with ePlan or take over an existing project that was already configured, take over all the PLC data and import it into a new project like this one here. So this is what I just did is I picked the previously project, uh, previously programmed project, and I imported this into ePlan. So I'm very close to be finished here, 99%. So it's actually quite fast for 15 components, 3D macros, 2D macros, everything ready for me to, to actually, uh, you know, use it straight up in ePlan. My intention is actually just to import the data. And once the data is imported, I wanted to show you again the next time around, if I do run that PLC import, um, that this error message 
actually will no longer pop up because those parts will be known and I will be able to do uh, something with it. So my intention at the moment is just to see quickly if I can import and run a bit of material. And of course, then I could always do the drag and drop and, and do the rest of my work. But the idea is how do I transfer from project A to project B, just the PLC data. See, PLC data is not there. I'll import it <coughs> like this. See this time around if the error message pops up again. Most likely it will not, right? It's going to import everything. Oh, just a few cards still that I haven't gotten yet. But let's just do the OK and see. 13 devices were imported. And you can see the whole configuration is there. So most likely, remember, in eBlan I have these generate project reports, which actually generate all my reports. I don't have that many yet ready to go. <coughs> but you will see the bill of material will now actually have and include whatever I had so far in that project, plus all these PLC devices. Really cool feature, importing PLC from an existing or previous project, and then you have the whole configuration here of your two racks, and then you can just drag and drop and do whatever you need to.